Hello guys and welcome to your second C++ tutorial. So in this tutorial we'll be setting up the basics of the rock paper scissors game. So the first thing we want to do when the program runs we want we, we wanna to notify the user what he has to do. So let's just enter what he has to do. So the first thing we want is that the users enter how much rounds the rock paper scissor game will, will have. So we write written how, how many rounds he how many round rounds you wanna give and we put a semicolon here so the program knows when the line of code ends I discussed that on my last tutorial and now we have to do sin and this signs and now we ha here we have to place the variable name so let's just put rounds and we have to make a integer a variable that is a integer and mm, let's make it just like this int that stands for integer and rounds it doesn't matter what you place here but it has to be the same name here and now we went we want the user to enter his choice so we write choice rotsk no we can write this like this Rite your choice and we notify the user what he can write rotsk paper c e c c e c e c e s um sorry if the spelling is wrong but that doesn't matter now and we put semicolon here and now we will take the information from the users let's just write p uh, this line and choice um p that stands for player choice and we have to make our variable here we will make it as a string so you write string p choice and the next thing we have to do is make a basic i that it will randomly get a number and we will assign that number to a to rock paper or scissors so the first thing we have to do for that is include some more things so we write in in include we have to write just it to the lib and include the team you will see we will need the time factor later on the first thing we have to do is make a for loop so for and I, I, um, I didn't explain what loops are so loops are just part um, code that um, that makes you do some things more times so you don't have to write um, out write something in three times you can just make it like this so we have we have three different types of loops we have the for loop while loop and the do while loop the do while loop is something more advanced so I'll be showing it in other tutorial so here we'll be using the for loop so you declare it like this you write in for open brackets and here you can write we will we'll just write it like this so here you write int we will we'll set it x and equal to no and then semicolon 
then you write the the it, then you write here what it should check so if x is lesser than rounds so this is a logic operator so it's like a math if x um, x is now null and if null is greater than rounds that you tapped in here that it will run the code that's in in here so um, and the next thing we have to do is put semicolon here and set x plus plus this just means to add one in to add one to x so the loop doesn't run infinite and now we open curly brackets and well let me just set this in here because it will automatically autom it will it just asks the user how much times we need we don't have to put it in here mm, we can let the this part here because we just ask once for that so the next thing we have to do is make the random number so let's make an integer here int random number and here i'll show you how to make random numbers so the first thing we have to do is set the variable name random numbers and we set it equal to and then you write rent and in this um, just go here and then you press shift and 5 and you get this and this just means that you get the remainder of a number so the random the nothing is random in com in computer behind this function there are many many t uh, lines of code that are running so let's just set e this equal to 3 so if we do this if we do this if we do this then we get the random number let me just show you that and random number so let's run this let's make just 5 and it asks for that and here see we get the random number 2 so it's working for now Um, we don't need this anymore so now we have what we have to do is we have to assign that random number to to rock paper or scissors so we do it like this I didn't show you how what if statements are so I'll be showing it first so we do it if random so if statements are just line of code that and that makes that that allows you to um, give the program a brain so the first thing we have to do is type if and in here we set the what it should check if random number so this number here is equal to 1 then what to do we set it to null here so if it equal to 1 let's set the computer choice equal equal to rotsk and we end here and we have to make a variable called counter choice